Welcome aboard the Tweetsie Railroad. Located between Boone and Blowing Rock. What people expect is a exciting Wild West experience on the train. Keep your eyes peeled. Our number 12 locomotive is 107 years old. They can see it, they can smell it, they can hear it. There are cowboys, there are actions, there are horses. And I am Chris Robbins, president of Tweetsie Railroad. It's, it's fun. You can be a cowboy, you can be a locomotive engineer, you can be a conductor. Kids can live out their fantasy here. The Tweetsie Railroad, as we know it today, holds a unique place, not only in North Carolina's history, but American history. Tweetsie Railroad is North Carolina's first theme park. In fact, it was one of the first theme parks in America. And a lot of Wild West theme parks cropped up in the late 1950s and 60s because every show on television was a Western. In the era of mega theme parks owned by corporations, Tweetsie stands out as a throwback of sorts. Many uh, Wild West theme parks have come and gone over the years. Most of them are gone, but we still survive. My uncle and father started it back in 1956. They acquired a locomotive, had it restored down in the Southern Railroad shops in Hickory, North Carolina, brought it up here in 1957, and the park opened in July 4th, 1957. We have our number 12 locomotive, which is they call the Tweetsie locomotive. That's the only surviving locomotive of the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad that ran from Johnson City to Boone, North Carolina every day from about 1918 to 1940. The Eastern Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad retired the number 12 locomotive in 1940, but continued operating the route for another decade. A unique feature of the old railroad, it used narrow gauge trains and track. A narrow gauge train can go around tighter turns than a standard gauge train can. And everything can be a little narrower, so you have to, don't have to cut as wide a path in through the mountains or cut as big a tunnel. As you might imagine, not just anyone can make their way into the cab to take the reins of one of these historic iron horses. I've been playing trains about 10 years. Meet Tweetsie engineer DJ Romine. Uh, that picture was made uh, about 20 years ago. The guy on the right is the engineer. His name is Matt Arts. He's our current director of engineering. Uh, of course, back then I was just a little kid that really interested in the train and, and Tweetsie Railroad. It's, it's a great privilege to be to say I'm one of the Tweetsie engineers. The locomotives devour shovels of coal like kids eat candy. And you won't find anything electronic on any of them. Everything is mechanical, and that means maintenance, and a lot of it. Our number 12 locomotive is 105 years old. Our number 190 locomotive was built in 1943. The thing is, you gotta keep them up. Director of Engineering Matt Ernst describes the work best. A lot of work. Everything with a steam locomotive is either hot, heavy, or dirty, or sometimes all three. We do an intense amount of preventive maintenance. It's a continuous process, and we stay on top of it. And says to make repairs, you simply can't just go to the store for parts. We make virtually every part that's on it. With the equipment we have here in the shop, we've got some large lathes that also date back to the steam locomotive's heyday. There's no CNC uh, modern computerized machinery in this shop. a trip to Tweetsie is more than just a ride on a classic train. Tweetsie sticks to its roots as a Wild West theme park. My name is Texas Pete, and this is my best friend, Tabasco. Passengers get treated to a full-on Wild Wild West show. There's enough for everybody. Some people like funny shows, some people want the action. Try to make sure we get a good mix of that for everyone to be able to enjoy, you know, some uh, it's a big spectacle going on and things like that too, just to kind of entertain the kids of all ages. There's so many sensory things going on with the rides and with the train and then with the entertainers. You can't be a passive guest here at Tweetsie. Getting my grandkids off of those phones is a big deal to me, so bringing them here, that was part of the plan. <laughs> Did you have fun today? Yeah. Very fun, his first time here as well. Tweetsie offers more than just train rides and the Wild West show. There's a petting zoo, gold panning, saloon shows, and other classic rides for kids of all ages. According to Robbins, the park annually attracts around a quarter million visitors and credits sticking to what they know best for the park's success. I think just staying true to our mission, making it fun, keeping it fun, wanting to keep it running. North Carolina's growing, that helps. Uh, Things like Charlotte and Raleigh and Winston-Salem are all booming, bringing new people into the state. Um, some of them have never been to Tweetsie Railroad. A lot of these people came here to Tweetsie Railroad when they were kids. Now they're bringing their kids or their grandkids. But we're also introducing it to new audiences. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Churches reporting.
Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.